going to try and call the city manager's office. Thank you for calling city manager's office. This is Gloria. May I help you? Gloria, say I was hoping to speak with uh, Cheryl Scully, city manager. Yeah, Nathan. Nathan? Yep. What is this in reference to, sir? Oh, it's in reference to a few, uh, I have, uh, had some correspondence with her and sent her a few letters. I'm just wondering what the deal is. Yep. Oh, okay. Let me get you his, her secretary. Uh, her assistant is, uh, Rogelio. One moment, please. Rogelio. All right. Looking for a new career opportunity that offers great benefits and room for advancement? The City of San Antonio is hiring for a variety of positions within its departments and offices. We're looking for everything from administrative support professionals to those with experience in IT and the skilled trades. For more information about our available career opportunities and to apply, please visit www.sanantonio.gov slash HR slash jobs. Hello, this is Rogelio Munoz. Rogelio, hey, uh, my name is Nathan uh, Miller. I have actually called, I think I've talked to you before, but... Okay. Uh, I've been, I've sent a few letters to uh, Cheryl Scully. And I was wondering if she had received them or not. I was, they were sent certificate of mailing, so it's presumed that she did actually receive them. And I was just wondering uh, if anything is being done in the... Um, is this in regards to your case, Mr. Miller? Yes, sir. I know that we did receive correspondence, and what we've been directed to do is just forward that to the city attorney's office. Have you spoken to someone at that office already? Oh, yes, I have spoken there, but they won't talk to me uh, at all, so... Okay, well, what I can do, if I can put you on hold, yeah. I can see who I can find in the city attorney's office to um, to address uh, to address your issues there, okay? All right. Thanks. Yep. MySATL.org for a calendar of events. <laughs> Check out the numerous resources your public library has to offer. From book flicks and true flicks to online homework help, the San Antonio Public Library offers programs that can help your child succeed in school. The best part, they're all free. Visit www.mysapl.org for more information. Office. This is Deandra. How may I help you? Deandra, hey, I need to speak with uh, a city attorney or assistant city attorney. Is Charles Weir available or uh, anybody like that? Sam Adams? Um, I can see if one would be available. They're not in the same office, so I'm not 100% certain. May I ask who I'm speaking with and the nature of the call? Uh, it's just a call in regards to... Uh, few things that I sent to the city attorney or the city manager's office and they said it got forwarded to the uh, city attorney's office so I'm just trying to chase my stuff down that's all okay uh, hold one second I'm yep. not in my office hold on I just sent a uh, a public data request, and I sent 
uh, a letter that was uh, carbon co carbon copied to uh, to her. It was actually to uh, Judge John Bull is who it was to, but it was uh, carbon copied to the city manager as well. So I was just wondering, uh, yeah, what's all going on and, with that? And again, I'm I'm not sure if you told me your name. I was not at my desk, so I don't know if you did. Did you tell me your name? Uh, no, but uh, is that going to help you find anything or not? It would, yes, because okay. I, they're going to ask me who is sending the correspondence and what is it in reference to. Right, and the only problem is that once I tell you my name, then they're not going to answer my phone call. Let's see. Well, um, <laughs> if you tell me your name, I may be able to find out. And, and, and then, too, is if you know that going in, Right. And, and you know they're not going to answer your call, then my, and I'm not trying to be. Right, you know, yep, yep, yep. But what, what is the the purpose of the call? Have you spoken well, with them before? Have they tried to help you, or what is the issue? Oh, yeah, I've talked with them before. Yes, I have. But, see, okay. that's why I contacted the city attorney. Uh, manager's office in hopes that I would get you know a fresh set of eyes on the ordeal and uh, instead they just sent it along to the uh, to the dead end street of the city attorney's office so well, I can tell you that if it's an open records request or if it's something dealing with something that well it's just dealing with no I mean handle it. it's dealing yeah I know I know no it's it's just dealing with uh, my case that I'm been having to handle here for the last five or six months that's all so okay and i really don't mean to sound cryptic or i mean to sound cynical but you're you're talking cryptic and i can't help you if you don't tell me who i'm talking right. to yeah, because yeah. there are several cases that come through the office and right. i can't just send something over and say okay hey this person needs to find out what, because it may not be that particular department that you need to speak with and then you're going to end okay. up on this wild goose chase and write back to me again Right, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, my, no, my name is Nathan Miller. Okay. And I guess I've got, you know, I've got case numbers that I can give you if you if that helps. But Well, it, it, just by your name, I can pull it up, and okay. that'll tell me exactly what's going on. Hold on. Oh, okay, I remember Mr. Miller. Okay, so you have a... Uh, Speeding ticket is what it started out as, and then you have open record requests that mm -hmm. you sent. And discovery requests, and, you, and lots of other uh, stuff, it, yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. And, and discovery and requests, asking? and a few other things, yes. Okay, and it, in the last correspondence that we have from you, you said that you are acting pro se, you're representing yourself, is that still the case? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, with that being the case, it's a conflict of interest for us to talk to you in reference to the case that it, it's supposed to be presented to the judge. Have you called Judge Bull's office or spoken with anyone over there? Because with you acting pro se, yep. we can't discuss the case with you. Okay, right. I understand that. But can... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, with the open records request, I know you guys aren't going to send me the... Uh, dash cam video but you have it in your possession and also um, the discovery request once I call over there to the judge's office is all he gonna say is I need to call you guys back is that what's gonna end up happening well um, with the information that was presented or the request that was presented if I'm not mistaken the AG's office said that that information in totality totality didn't have to be released. A portion of it in which it shows that they did release something to you, I don't know exactly what it was, right. was released to you. Right. But the other information due to privacy issues was not released right. to you. Right. Yes, right. And, and that's, that's, that, that was open records. Yes, that was an open records division at the Attorney General's office. Uh, Claire Sloan and Tamara Strain. Yes. But, uh, the uh, discovery portion that was sent out, man, well, I can look at it in here. I've got it dated. But the discovery request that was sent, I think, back in May or even might have been June. But uh, that one has yet to be fulfilled as well. 
So, and they said that that's not, you know, the AG's office also said that's not there. Uh, that's not, you know, the open records division part. That is city of San Antonio that's just supposed to send that. And, uh, well, I also talk, talked with uh, Chuck 